Maybe you think that dancing to slow music is very helpful and is very easy and it makes you a better dancer and helps you to grow. But you're mistaken. Hey, it's Martin and this is Crumble. Actually, I think and I believe and I, uh, my practice suggests that you need to be exposed to dancing to the faster songs and faster, faster music. Of course, when you learn, we can go peacefully and calmly and slower. However, it's very important that you remember that salsa is a very energetic and quite fast dance. The music is really, really energetic and it sometimes goes beyond being fast. It's just crazy fast. <laughs> So why not to try sometimes? And maybe you're thinking that you need to be advanced or like in, at least intermediate dancer to become faster or to be more exposed to the faster songs. But I assure you, once you start, even as a beginner, if you start exposing yourself to the faster songs, you're gonna grow faster and you're gonna become better and faster dancer. Let me give you several tips. One of my favorite is the tip that Karen Flores gives us uh, at the workshops. I'm just taking the glass and uh, mm -hmm. I'm absolutely blown away. Thank you. So, uh, and she says sometimes something like this, which I love. I extremely love her and I love what she says. She says, you want to be fast? Try to be faster. And it's, it's basically this idea that if you want to catch this train, you just need to go a little bit faster. You just, you, you're not allowed to just walk. <laughs> and take your time. You need to be uh, hurrying up, right? We are all able to go sometimes slower, sometimes faster. Let me show you. We are all able to go slower or faster. So if you learn the basic step and you go like this, one, two, three, cha-cha, five, six, seven, cha-cha, one, two, and three, cha-cha, five. Just try to go steadily but faster and faster. So it's one, two, three, Five, six, seven, 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 one, and come back to slow. Okay, I do this exercise with my students. I often ask them, okay, guys, we can walk slow, go slow, like slow motion. Slow motion, slow motion. And now go faster. Come back. You can do it. So that basically proves that everyone is capable and able of doing slower or faster steps. Which means that when we dance, when you learn to dance, you can also try to go slower and then you can try to go fast. Maybe do it with no music, okay? Just your count. Start like one, two, three, five, follow me. One, two, three, five, follow me again. One, two, and three, and steadily grow faster. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Yeah, it will create a lot of love, uh, and people will be happy, and people will, will make mistakes, of course, but it's great, okay? Just be positive, encourage them, and show them, guys, you can go faster. Don't wait until you become an advanced dancer. Don't wait. So yeah, how to become faster? Just be exposed to faster music, be exposed and push yourself to the faster song. And very important, be observant and try to observe your body, how it feels when you go faster. What do you do with your steps? How do you transfer your weight? Okay. And as a teacher, you need to be very, very conscious about it and check the students if they are moving in a, in a good way and they are transferring the, the weight in a proper way. If they're not, it's fine. Sometimes people tell me, oh, Martin, but this is too fast. And I say, I know it's fast, it's okay, but uh, just try, just try once, try two times, and you will see how it goes, how it feels. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to know it, how to dance fast now, but you need to try it, okay? And only when you try it, and if you try it, you will be able to feel that you can become a faster dancer. One other thing which is very important uh, in terms of being and growing a faster dancer is to start 
early. If you want to catch the train which leaves at 7 p.m., you don't leave home at 5 to 7, right? So you leave home early, you, you know, call a ta cab or you call a taxi early, so you can really have time and enjoy your way to the uh, train station. Okay, so don't do the steps at the last second, at the last moment. Try to think before you do the steps and think quite, quite early, okay? So what it means, uh, let me show you. If you have this combination, if you have a combination of steps, for example, basic, one, two, and three, five, right turn, one, two, and three, five, left turn, one, two, and three, five, Suzy Q, one, two, and three, five, six, basic, one. So if you, if you are a performer and you have this combination of the steps, don't think about the steps the moment you do the steps. Think about them early, okay? So I start the basic. I already know the next one is the right turn. I already know the next one is the left turn. Next one is the Suzy Q. Next one is whatever I want, okay? So if you think early, you think ahead, you're gonna be able to become faster, okay? Because you don't have to think at the moment when you're dancing. Thinking at the moment when you're dancing, it's slowing us down. I think before I start my Suzy Q, I already know, okay, I am there with my mind, so my Suzy Q is on time. And that's it. I think if you think that you're not able to dance faster, you're right, you're not able because you think you're not, ready. You're not able. So first, change that mindset, okay? Think, okay, let me try, let's try, okay? And as a teacher, it's very important that you show your students that they can try as well. So just encourage them, be positive about it, make fun of it sometimes, make laugh about it. Don't, don't make a, such a big fuss if someone is too slow. It's all right. I know plenty of people who started and they were very, very slow, very slow. And now they're smashing the dance floor and they're dancing really, really fast. So it's not that, that they're not able to do it, they are able to do it and it's inside of them. You as a dancer, as a teacher, as an instructor, you just have to show them that it's possible and start from this natural movement. Anyone can go slow and anyone can go faster, okay? And this is basically what we do. We sometimes go a little bit faster than the average person, okay? And is, is, it, is, it, is it hard? It might seem hard, but it's not so hard. It's possible. So if you present it like, okay, it's possible, you can do it, just try it, don't worry. Okay, it's, oh, it, it's nothing if you don't do it. Uh, it's, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be fun and your students will become faster for sure. That was a quick tip about how to become faster dancers. I love to hear from you. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll be happy to answer. Thank you for watching my video, thank you for practicing with Prambo Dance. You can also join us and like on Instagram and Facebook. And recently I opened an account on Patreon and you can join and become my patron and support what I do if you like it so. Thank you very much and I would love to hear from you guys, comment and like and share with your friends Salseros. Que viva la salsa!